<laughs> okay, now I'm gonna work on the greens, the foreground greens, and then I'm gonna go, after all that dries, I'm gonna go back and work on the background a little bit more. Let that dry, and then I'll finish the foreground. So this is a, oh, a seven layer dip at least. But anyway, let's let's see. I'm using uh, lemon, cadmium yellow, lemon, leaf green, viridian green, and then some blues in this. So let's see where we go. All right, so let's start here. Clean water. Although I actually could could use the yellow, but I'm not going to because I want to save my yellow water. Okay, there's that yellow. This would. The, the shade, in, in case anybody is just starting out, the shade is caused by areas where the light cannot reach. So because the light is coming from this direction, from this direction, anything that's on the other side of that direction is going to have shade. It's coming from up above. So this petal right here is more in shade until it gets out of here away from that light place. And it picks up the, the light again. This, uh, the stem is catching a lot of light. So it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be a lot of light there. So that's all came in le yellow lemon. Now then we're going to go to the leaf green. God, you know, God is such a perfect designer. He, uh, I needed some more green over here, and God knew that, and that's the way he made his plant. There is a leaf that, this, this, okay, notice how I'm pulling that out into a shot. Oh, my gosh, don't talk when you're painting. What do we do? We call our handy-dandy. Q-tip to control, hold that line, hold that line a little bit. But anyway, so God, this this particular zinnias have, it looks like they have, a, I don't know what they call it, a bifold, a bilateral leaf. And and this one is, is coming, this one is starting here, it's going back behind that one and pulling out behind there. So we have, we have our little leaf coming, Otherwise, it would be orange and then green moving off the direction. But this guy, this little bit of green is going to pull our eye back, back over that way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about this. I'm not painting every leaf I see there. And so I'm selectively making choices. And I'm gonna talk, I'm making, a, I'm getting ready to make a book about, I mean a video about making choices in other areas. But just, I made a video this morning about the weeds, the parable of the weeds. Well, too much, too much detail is another weed, you know, in my opinion. Now, there are people that are just, all they want is to show how many details they can paint. That is their do-all, end-all in life. That's not my do-all, end-all. But, you know, to each his own. I'm not saying other people can't do that, but that's just not my, that's not what turned me on. Okay, so now I have two colors. I'm going to suggest the bottom of that stem only. Now, that's very wet, so whatever I do now is go so I'm going to do this with caution. Viridian green's a little bit too much of a Christmas color for me, but we're going to tone it down with other colors. 
Okay, so what we have here, okay, right here, there's there's shadow because the light's hitting the other side of that. And little bit of shadow right here where those two bracts are meeting. And this one is darker than the other one. A lot of, lot of more dark back here. Darker here because that's, that's completely out there in, in, uh, in shadow. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in here and get I need I need some more paint, um, and I keep saying every day I'm going to do this, but I'm going to bring in some thalo blue to darken. Thalo blue is kind of a turquoisey green. Oh, that's actually indigo black. Be careful what you're doing. That's indigo black, uh, indigo, which is a, a black of sorts. But anyway, let's just go with it. Okay, let's see if we can find that Prussian blue. Ah, that's much better. Uh, I cut, so I, what I did is I jumped ahead into the indigo a little faster than I wanted to. Uh, my whole, I could have stopped and like, oh, I give up, I just did a terrible thing. I could have done that, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to make it work. Or not work, but I'm not going to quit until I'm sure it's not going to work. And then I'll quit. But it's after I plowed to the end of the row. Now, Now then, th this is, although this, this little dessert dish is cobalt blue, it is, it, it's kind of a, a translucent or transparent cobalt blue. So we got green down in here we have to deal with. There's a little bit of, it's, it's a dark indigo green really because it's mixing with, and it's over here, it's mixing with the, uh, with the with the cobalt blue of the dish so let me just really go whole hog right there Now, how am I going to tone that down? I'm going to tone that down with ultramarine blue. I could also do it with water, but because I know what the next color would be, I'm going to go with ultramarine blue.
Okay, I've made some suggestion about what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna let this dry before I move forward.